and welcome back to another crochet vlog. Today is Monday. Actually, it's not Monday. It's Tuesday, December 26th. It's right after Christmas. And I hope you guys had a lovely holiday. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I just hope you had a nice break. <laughs> but I've been working on some orders. First of all, we're making an icing sugar pink fuzzy turtle. That will be shared later because I'm in the process of making it right now. But I did want to share with you the other order that I am working on. And you guys are going to die. <laughs> this is a llama plushie. Look how huge it is. It's like the size of my torso, okay? I love her. So the safety eyes were glued in um, so they don't come on... Come, uh, so they don't come loose. This will just, I'm assuming, will be a statement piece in the baby's room. But then for the actual baby, we have a llama lovey. So obviously they do need um, some embroidery done to them. Same thing with this one. She needs a little mouth. But how adorable are these two together? They're honestly so cute. And I love the color scheme that the customer chose. I'm also going to work on a little freebie for the customer. I'm going to work on a gift for that customer, a little tiny one as a freebie, just as a way to say thank you. This was a big order, so I feel like that's an order, you know? Anyways, today we're going to embroider the faces and eyes onto these little cute plushies. Well, not so little, but you know what I'm saying. And then we're going to work on the pink fuzzy turtle, and I'm going to watch some YouTube. Um, my apartment is so cozy right now. I still have my Christmas decor up. I'll show you guys right now. Look how cute it looks. Half of my lights blew out on this tree, by the way. How? I don't know. Don't mind that. I was just gluing on the eyes. But look at my little melodies and their babies. How cute is that? That's a whip from so long ago. But anyways, they look so adorable in little stockings. And I'm just in a good mood today. So let's get crocheting. I just remembered I wanted to show you guys my... Um, tester's photos so this is my pattern release post and tester appreciation so here is the monkey by Jensen her ad is lemon cat crochet and I'm in love with this little snuggle picture it's so cute then we have hooked with love 23 so freaking adorable I had to include some of their other photos into one uh, like one page because Instagram has a 10 photo limit. Then we have Midwi Midwest Made, also super cute. I love that the baby monkey is a darker color from the mama. Then we have Macy, so cute. Again, I had to add another picture here. Classic monkey. Then we have Nicole's, and these pictures are so cute. I love, she has three daughters, so that's why there's two hanging here. These are all three of them. And then I just loved this photo. I had to make it a separate page because how cute is that? Oh, I love it. And then we have Addison's. I am obsessed with this color. It's so cute. And then we have Carrie's. She used some floral, floral yarn from Premier Yarns. And I think it's so cute. I also love the felt eyes on this. I personally don't use them. I don't like using them, but I think they look adorable. Yeah, I'm just so happy. And thank you so much to everyone who already purchased the pattern before I even made the official release post. It means so much to me. And you guys should all go um, to my testers pages, give them some love because they really did an amazing job. And this was not a quick pattern to make. It takes a couple hours, but they all did so wonderful, and I'm so proud of their work. All right, you guys, excuse the angle and the poor lighting. I just, I can't stand bright light right now. But, but I did finish the embroidery. Here's the lovey. So super cute. I love this, and it's so soft, so buttery. He, she does have a little tail. So cute. <laughs> and here is the big llama. The big llama. I like how this um, ear kind of folds downward. I think that's so cute. I mean, obviously you can stand up too, but I like that it naturally kind of folds down. How cute. Anyways, this one is huge. I need to see if I have a shipping bag big enough to fit it. If not, I'll put it in a box. I don't know what happened to my yarn, but this happened. What? And it got super long. So anyways... 
I'm almost on my last fin. But what the heck happened? I'm gonna have to, like, sew it up a little better with the other strand of yarn, but what the heck? Alright, guys, we have Miss Arizona Pink Fuzzy Turtle all done, and it's gonna be packed tomorrow morning so that I can pack in good lighting, but look, she's so cute. The color doesn't really show up on camera, but it's a very light baby pink, and I don't know if I showed you guys Llama and the llama but these are the orders i finished today and now we're going to make little birds we're going to make a matching set for that llama order and i'm going to use the small pattern the little birds i don't know i'm talking like that i'm gonna use a little bird pattern by knots by jack i have to go buy it so let's do that i'm gonna go on etsy right now mini flockers that's what the pattern is called and the pattern is a 495 mm, mm, mm. excuse me i can't see because of you guys rude all right guys um here's the picture of the pattern it's super cute i'm going to make i think a red robin and a blue jay let's look through the pattern and see what she has in here new color flockers wow this is actually like a neat way to lay out the pattern I like it. Oh my gosh. Purple hummingbird. All right, guys. I have decided on the colors for the little parakeet. It's obviously going to start in white. And then we're going to do this sea blue color. I don't know. And then we're going to do a key lime one. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to have time after this to make another plushie. So hold on. I'm just trying to gather my colors. I'm going to make the unicorn in these colors. So the body I'm thinking is going to be this cream. I'm going to make the wings this color. And then these will be the hair colors. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just make it cream all around. What do you guys think? They're so cute. Hold on. Let me show you one by one. This is the lime green one. Very cute. And this is like the sea blue one. So cute. These work up very quickly. I have to say, you guys, um, in my last video, I went to Michael's and I bought these prim hooks. I do not, I do not like them. Um, the shape of it, I can crochet with this, no problem. But it's like so rough on my yarn when I crochet. I don't know if it's because of my tension, because I'm using a different hook, or if, because it doesn't feel rough, but... I don't know, nothing just compares to the clover hooks, so here is the difference in the hooks. So you can see this orange one is more like pointy, and the clover one is less pointy, it also has more room under the hook. I don't know, anyways, I don't like it, I'm not going to return them because I messed up the boxes that they came in. But what I am going to say is that when I was making the levy yesterday, I was using the six mil six millimeter one like this and it was very easy to crochet with because my stitches were looser for loveys and that turned out great but for like amigurumi i don't like them however it's up to your discretion let me know what you think if you've ever used these but that's my opinion on them i forgot to say i forgot to say i'm gonna add little ball keychains to the birds and then we'll be done with that order and i'll pack everything up tomorrow i'll get the labels ready now so that I can, you know, just pack everything super easy, super quick tomorrow morning. Ones that I feel like I saw that are usually a fan favorite. People have been using the octas as stuff. Um, they've been quite Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to show you this little cutie patootie. He's in my photo setup, but he's just so adorable. Let's take a picture of him. Click. He's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, it's the morning. I'm going to make a... A packing video how do you guys like my little new cardigan I love it um, I haven't worn pink in like forever but that's besides the point yesterday I also started on the little unicorn <laughs> this is all I got done and then it got too late so I had to you know walk the dogs and whatnot and also you guys look how cute it matches me I love it so let me pack some stuff. It's 8.15. I don't want to run late, so. And we're all good to go. Hey, guys. Long time no talk. Just kidding. 
Um, I got home from work a little while ago. I went to walk my dogs. Well, really just Peanut because it's raining outside and Honey goes on her wee wee pad. Anyways, here's the update, okay? First of all, while I was at work, I got an order for a fuzzy turtle and this is going to be a custom fuzzy turtle with a tan shell and green head and limbs. Also, I signed up for new markets for the 2024 season. And they have five dates so far set from June to September. And here's the thing, I am going to try and only do one market a month because with school and work and, and this, it's just too much for me. Actually, being that I'll only have school until May and then I graduate, I probably could do more markets, but it's just too much pressure on myself. I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start with one market a month and see how I feel. Maybe if I have the energy or I have leftover product, I'll do some last minute markets. But for right now, the, by the way, this is a different organization that I'm doing it with. Um, I was going to do some markets with them this year, but what happened was that uh, the dates conflicted with the people that I did my market with this year, and um, they got back to me later than the other place. This year, I'm super excited because I'll be able to vend with them, and it's a big... It's a big to-do, it's a big street vendor thing, and it's actually by one of my friend's houses, which is so exciting! Because I'm just gonna make her come to the market with me if my sister's on vacation. Me and my sister sometimes take different vacation times, so if anything, I will make my friend go do the markets with me. <laughs> um, she doesn't mind, she wanted to come do it with me, but I've had, I had my sister there, so I didn't need another person. But she'll be so excited to hear this from me. And then what else can I tell you guys? I'm also, I have to wait until January 1st to sign up for the Valentine's Day market with the people I've been doing markets with this past year. But again, that doesn't open until January 1st and there's only really one date that I can do. It's the Sunday market because um, Saturday I don't want to, I don't want to do it on Saturday because I might have a school event that Saturday. I don't want to double book myself and then have to say no to the school event because it's not as profitable, but I love doing the school event. Um, I love seeing my old students and, you know, in general, it's just, I love seeing all the kids and they're so cute and I just want to, like, give them all stuff for free, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's the thing. Hello, Peanut, he's, um, he wants some cuddles. Well, you know what else we have to do, you guys? We have to order new scissors. And do I need new scissors? Um, technically no. But the thing is, I had two pairs, and then I lost my gold pair, which was my favorite. I don't know where they went. They might have fallen in my trash can and like slid to the bottom and I didn't notice. I don't know. They might be in between my couch cushions, but last time I checked, they weren't there. Look at my lashes. Ooh, they're so good today. But yeah, I have to order that, and I'm also going to order more lobster clasp keychains and I might do more ball keychains I'm gonna hold off on those but I will get more of the lobster clasp keychains because I'm running low on those and I like to use those more than the little ball keychains I use the ball keychains for bigger plushies because um it's too heavy for the lobster clasp and the and the jump rings also you know what I wanted to do today I wanted to make some stitch markers, the piggy ones. I wanted to make the piggy stitch markers and I forgot. So maybe I'll prepare those um, for myself for tomorrow. But today we're going to do the fuzzy turtle order. And then, like I said, I have to order those scissors. And that is all. Thank you so much for listening to my long-winded update. But let's order some stuff and get crocheting. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys. Okay, sorry. Um, I did finish more of the body of the little unique corn. And I'm going to finish that first before I start on the turtle order. Because I just want to make it so bad. It's so cute. Alright, so I definitely forgot to order scissors. And I just remembered now because I was using them. But um, here's what the unicorn is looking like, right? I love this pattern. And I, um, I love the look of it. And I love um crochet crochet patterns in general i use her frog pattern all the time but this one 
this is not a quick market make, okay? Because do you guys see all these strings? Um, the ears are surface crocheted, the horn is surface crocheted, the hair is surface crocheted, and you also have to attach wings, which I haven't even done the wings yet. But all that to say, it's a really nice pattern, but it's not a quick one. So if you are looking to market prep these, just know um, this won't be like a $10, $15 item, at least not for me. I would probably charge $18.20 for these just because they do take a while and it's just a lot of ends to weave in. So those are my thoughts, but I'll get back to you guys once I finish this up. I'm watching Noelle Create on, on YouTube. Um, she's another small business owner. She has like tumblers, sweatshirts, phone cases, stuff like that. And I don't know, I just like watching other people's small business vlogs. So that's what I'm doing. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and my honest review of the pattern because it's so adorable and I've been wanting to make it for a while. And listen, I will make more of these, 100%. I just wanted to let you guys know it's not a super quick make. And in the future, I'm going to make maybe one or two more of these just to have more than one. But I would probably use Sweet Snuggles Light or Daniel Basics or something that's a little thicker than Parfait Chunky, so like a weight 6 yarn. Because I don't think it's worth to go through all this work for a plushie that's the size of my palm and sell it for $18-$20. Um, I just think for that same effort, I can make a bigger plushie with a bigger yarn and it'll be more worth it to me. So, just so you guys know, I'm not being mean at all because I love her patterns. I just wanted to be honest about market prepping. Alright ladies and gents, I finished the little unicorn, aww. Um, this is making me want to make a Pegasus pattern, okay? So if you see that coming up, actually should I make a sketch and draw it out really quick? It won't look like this at all, it'll be like a big full size plushie. But this is so adorable, I kind of did the hair crooked and I changed my method of making the hair halfway through so that's why they kind of like all look like different sizes don't mind that i was just playing around trying to see what works best you guys guess what i still haven't started on the turtle because i got distracted i made a tiktok but i got an email from the markets that i've been doing this year and i just applied for the 2024 season i'm really hoping to do their valentine's day market so i submitted that and we shall see how that goes all right, it's 8.44. I did get distracted a little bit. I was replying to some of you guys about custom orders, but I did get all the pieces done. So now I'm just going to sew everything together. I think this is going to look really adorable and I hope my customer loves it. And we are done. I actually really love this color combo. I think it would also look super cute if the shell was green and... um the body was tan like the inversion of this hello i just got back home from work early day today i did something yesterday while i was on the phone with addison i bought two new patterns so first of all um from stitch sister co i got the bellamy and bebe fish and i just made one like on my commute to work today um i have to tuck in the loose ends but let just use your imagination pretend there's no strings it's very cute. I love the colors I chose. Great job. Anyways, this pattern is really easy. I did the smaller version, the Bebe. The Bebe BB fish. The smaller one because the big one has like 40 stitches around and this one only has 27. And this is the, this is the vibe, okay? Second, I got the Koi Fish pattern by Crocheted by L. Um, Here's the thing. I love fish patterns. I want to make another fish pattern because I have my clownfish pattern and I really love that one but anyways I do want to make another pattern but I thought since these lovely ladies already have patterns for these fish I might as well not trouble myself and just get their pattern um so I got those and now I just I feel it I'm gonna be on this bebe fish kick someone please tell me if it's bebe or bb because I think bebe the other the bigger fish is called bellamy which is so cute I love that name so adorable um so here's the thing i have to go walk the dogs before it starts pouring i'm also getting my nails done tomorrow because my middle fingernail is coming off 
This is the second time I glued it. I have an appointment tomorrow with my mom and sister. I don't know if I said that already. I probably did. Anyways, I also worked on a YouTube video today. I also posted a YouTube video today. Okay, bear with me because I know the lighting is really yellow. Like, it's even yellow when I'm looking, like, straight. These are my giraffe colors. It's The body is going to be in this color from Loops and Threads. It's called Pearl. This is Sand. Um, Loops and Threads, Shanila Home Slim. Slim? <laughs> Slim? Slim? Both of these? Yes, both of these, Chanel Home Slim. And this one is also Chanel Home Slim, and this is in taupe tweed. Look at that beautifulness. Excuse me. Focus, please. Thank you. So pretty. And I'm also going to make chickens with this color, but for right now, these are going to be giraffe sp <laughs> These are going to be giraffe spots. This is going to be the snout and feet color, and this is going to be the body color. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so obsessed. This is like my new favorite colorway for this giraffe. It's so cute. <laughs> A little cutie pie. And here's the body. So let me um, stick it on the body really quick so you guys can see. I just stuck a needle through it so more or less you can see how it's going to look. Obviously it needs to be sewn on. but And it's missing some spots. But we're going to make those right now. Um, I'm just editing my pattern since the last time I made it because I messed up. So, anyways, uh, that's that. I'm gonna... I'm almost done. And it's un it took me under an hour. I think I'm at 40 minutes. And that's with taking pictures while I'm making um, the pattern. I got distracted. I was talking to my sister on FaceTime. But <gasps> look at this little cutie pie. This is my favorite giraffe that I've made so far. And, like, I can twist her head. This is Georgia the giraffe. I think I said that in a previous vlog, but... She's so beautiful. I love this little addition of the speckled yarn. I think it looks so cute. And I made some more stuff with the speckled yarn. So first of all, I embroidered some eyes onto the fishies. And I say fishies because I made another one. I really loved this colorway, so I put it into a fish form. And look, they're kissing. They're really cute. Anyways, I'm gonna try this colorway now. And then I have one more colorway which is gonna be this one. And I think they're gonna be really cute. So yeah, that's what's happening. I'm just relaxing. It's, um, let's see what time it is. 7.30 and we're doing good. I'm actually gonna time myself and see how long it takes me to do one. But I'm really proud of my makes today. Look at me getting stuff done. I absolutely love this pattern. It's definitely worth um, getting it. I make it so that it's, actually it's pretty no so really because even the fins like the little bottom fins you crochet those on to the plushie after you close it up so it's fine it's a very quick make i'll like i'm gonna time myself and let you guys know how long it takes me to crochet it i won't count myself i won't include the timing to embroider the eyes because of course you can use safety eyes so i will let you guys know about how long it takes me to just make the plushie itself and that giraffe took me under an hour to make by the way with taking pictures and stopping for a second, answering my phone, stuff like that. So it's a quick make, okay? I took an eating break. And also I forgot to time myself. I started it, I was in like row five, round five, and I forgot <laughs> to record. I mean to time myself, but look at her. Isn't this, she isn't she pretty? I love these colors together. But I will time myself for this next one, which for this one, we will be using um sweet snuggles light and we're going to use oh, i'm a mess guy so i don't know what these things are called we're going to use barely pink and i think this is like pink multi dot or something ballet slipper dot so we're going to use barely pink the solid color and a uh, ballet slipper dot i am here to report back that it took me 21 minutes and 26 seconds to make one fish the um that being said, I was watching a TV show, so if you're not watching a TV show, you'll probably get it done faster, but this was the case for me. Um, but like I said, they work up really quick. I love this pattern. It's so adorable. I didn't embroider the eyes, but I did sew in the loose ends from the fins and the tail, so boop. Super quick. Look at all my cute fishies. They're so cute. I love them. I haven't made a pattern that I love this much in so 
long. I mean, besides the Bootylicious frogs, but I'm kind of tired of making those. These are just so adorable, and I love making little fish. So, fishies. All right, I have decided to just call it a night for today. I have off work tomorrow. A long weekend. I did a lot of work today, and I'm super proud of myself. I have been loving just making whatever I want. I made the unique corn. I finally got to do my giraffe pattern. I made those um, little fish. And I can't wait to make more patterns. I'm going to probably type up my giraffe pattern tomorrow. Add all the pictures. Right now, I'm just going to put the yarn away that I was using. Because I'm trying to be better. And I'm really trying to like keep my apartment as mess free as I can be. And then maybe tomorrow, I will work on keychains. We shall see. Maybe I'll do some bears. I don't know. Maybe I'll try a new pattern. Who knows? Days full of possibilities. Okay? As you can tell, I'm in a really good mood. But now it's time to shower and do all the self-care and just relax on the couch without having to work. Good morning. Good morning. It's Friday and it's not that early in the morning. It's 10 a.m. right now. And the light in my house is so beautiful. It's perfect for pictures. So you already know I'm going to take some product photos right now but anyways i you guys i usually don't take days off um today's just a company day off and i am so happy i'll get to work on some stuff today i am planning to make stitch markers today because i want new ones i want new stitch markers mostly because i lost a lot of the ones i made for myself but i'll make some for you guys too i'll put them up on my etsy so check down below i'll probably list them make them and list them today they'll be ready to ship so click the link down below uh, anyways i'll take you guys along my day today it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of stuff to make but i do have to leave like around three because i have to pick up my sister and then we're gonna pick up my mom from work and we're gonna get our nails done because you guys you know what happened first of all my middle finger um the nail was like coming off here which was annoying. And if you are wondering, these are my natural nails and then I get LCN on top because my nails are, as they are, are very fragile. And then my index finger broke when I was crocheting. <laughs> so yeah, these little bears are gonna go away. Hello, focus. Those little nails are gonna go away, but I think I'm gonna do this like milky white color again. So anyways, let's take some pictures. Um, why did no one remind me that I had to post a YouTube video today? Anyways, I have it ready. I just have to make it public. But you guys, do you know what stupid thing I did yesterday? So first of all, I usually take my contacts out after I walk the dogs when I get home, right? From work. But yesterday, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to take them off so I don't have to keep putting my glasses on because they slide off my face. And it's just easier to have contacts in and not have anything like obstructing your vision. So anyways, I was like, I'm not going to take them out. Then I like my vision was starting to get weird. So I was like, let me put on my glasses because I'm used to not wearing contacts when I'm home. And guess what? I had my contacts in and my glasses. So that was great. Um, and I didn't realize until after I got out of the shower, I'm like doing my skincare, I'm looking in my eyes, I'm like, oh my god, I still have my contacts in. So not only did I wear my contacts and my glasses, I also showered with my contacts, which you're not supposed to do. Anyways, um, everything's fine, my vision's fine, my eyes are fine, but I was just like, Patricia, like, t knock knock. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys because that's just... That's just um, my life, <laughs> and that's what happens when you're distracted. Also, I set out all my materials for my stitch markers. I'll show you guys that in a second, but I'm going to do some computer stuff, and then we'll get to making some stitch markers and crocheting later. It's currently 11.30. That was a lot to get done in an hour and a half, okay? That's all I'm saying. All right, lovelies, I just published my weekly crochet vlog where we go shopping, where we work on orders, where we make Christmas gifts, and... Um, all that jazz so if you haven't watched it already go watch it i'm watching you anyways we're going to make stitch markers now and first of all let me show you um the actual the main piece of the stitch marker so when i ordered um the little pendants last time i did set a few aside for my own personal use i didn't have a lot of them so here is a little light green turtle, very cute, and it doesn't have the black outline on the shell, it has the dark green. And this one is just so adorable, I freaking love this one. It's a little peach turtle. Oh, 
I only have two more of these. So if you guys want a peach colored mm, turtle stitch marker, let me know. My DMs are open. My messages are open. And then um, I'm also going to make three gummy bear stitch markers. And these are just my favorite colors from the ones I ordered. So cute. Those are my favorite. And um, I just love gummy bear stitch markers. And like I mentioned in one of my last videos, I am also going to make these little piggies into into stitch markers they are a little heavier so i think i'm gonna make this stitch marker shorter i usually like to make mine a little longer but this one i think we're just gonna add maybe like two of these beads or something and i have to see how um i can attach this to the little to the little post okay so that's that next i use these i have to use two this one has rounded edges i don't know if you can see that and this one has flat edges, so this one is for curving the posts, and this one is for smushing them together. I use lobster clasps. These are my favorite. I don't like the other ones that you have to go like this. To, no, absolutely not. And I also have my posts in here. Those are the longer ones. Next, next, next. I also have little links. I have these little links um, as well because these ones, as you can see, I can attach the links. So I have those. And then the best part is I have these. First of all, you know what this is? It's a pill box. But in this pill box, I just have beads. And these are just um, an assortment of beads that I get from Michaels. And they look like this when they come, but obviously they're like on this little string thing. So it's easier for me to put them in here. And then for the beads that didn't fit in here, like they're too small, like these seed beads, I just have them in little plastic baggies. I also have these beads, again, from Michaels. These are bigger. Um, I also have these really pretty gray seed beads. I think these two together are absolutely adorable. And I might use that for the piggy. And then in here, I just have a variety of beads that I never separated and I'm mad at myself. So... Oh, these green beads are so pretty. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to make some stitch markers and I'll share with you guys um, after they're done. Because like I said, trying to set up the camera angle um, is just really a frustrating experience. If you like any of the ones that I make today, let me know. Um, they'll also be up on my Etsy if you want to get them. But let's get started. I also posted my giraffe tester call. Did I tell you guys that already? So my phone is being spammed right now, but it's okay because I love you guys. <laughs> um, anyways, and then I did post, I did make the listings for the fish and the giraffe that's already on my Etsy. If you want a uh, physical plushie, the link is down there. Okay, let's get started. What should I put on? I want to watch something. You guys are not ready for this cuteness. Also, as a side note, if you're ever making stitch markers, get yourself like a little dish. I painted this one in like a paint shop. You know, those paint with me things or paint, drink and paint, sip and paint. That's where I made it. But I made four of them. I used all four of the piggy beads. They're glass beads, so I have to be careful with them a little bit. But how cute. And then I added like little light pink and light pink beads and white seed beads. And I think they're adorable. So I made four of them. They're so cute. I love them. This is gonna be my new favorite stitch marker. I'm going to crochet with it in a little bit. All four piggies. Mm -mm -mm. So cute. I love them. I also love the noises they make. Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna do the peach turtle first because I just really love it. But um, I have to see what beads I have that are gonna match this color scheme. You're a little cutie pie. My Velcro puppy has joined us. He was on the couch the whole time. Okay, as you can see, it's very bright in my apartment right now. Um, it's hard to see, but this will be good for showing you guys the stitch markers. I made five more, the two turtles and the three gummy bears. Let me show you the turtles first. They all have lobster clasps, so I'm not even going to bother showing you that. It's just easier to hold them like this. Oh, maybe this isn't good lighting. <laughs> But here's the turtle, and here's the little beads, and here's the peach one. For the peach one, I just did very, like, neutral colors, like white, 
clear. I think it looks really pretty though. And then I did, I made all of the gummy bear ones, which to be honest with you guys, like now, like after making all of these, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> like I'm done. It's 1.30 and I think I started at like what, 11.30 or something. Um, so there's no reason it should have taken me two hours to do this. I don't know if I went on my phone, if I was like paying too much attention to YouTube videos, but it took me a while. Hold on guys, I'm trying to like lay them out all nice. But, um, these look very similar in color, but the colors are inverted, basically. And one has, like, more of a lighter blue. But that's how I did them. I think they look really pretty. Also, I forgot to update you guys. Um, I, we also got an order for a sage fuzzy turtle, which I think I might do today. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to make myself food right now, and like I said, oh, it's now 1.40. Um, but like I said, I have to go get my nails done today and I'm taking my mom and sister also. So depending on when we get out, we'll see, um, if I can get it done today. If not, it's fine. Uh, the latest I can ship it out is January 3rd. And I'm going to make some food right now, which I'm really not going to make anything. I'm just going to put some Trader Joe's mac and cheese balls in the oven and I'll eat that because I'm starving. I only ate breakfast. This is what happens when you're crafting all day. As I'm on my couch, I like eating on my couch. And I forgot I had like the little Brazilian um, cheese breads. So I just put three of them in the oven. Mm -mm. If you guys want to know anything about me, it's that I put chipotle sauce on everything. Don't mind that one. I had to cut it open and just make sure it was cooked through all the way. But oh my god, this is delicious. Alright you guys, it's 2.30 and I've decided that I'm just going to watch some YouTube videos and just kind of be on my phone and relax because I don't really get to do that. And then I'll crochet later because I just want to relax. And I did craft a lot today and I did get a lot of work done. So I'm just going to watch a YouTube video. Maybe I'll edit my giraffe pattern while I'm watching, listening. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. Now I just have to transfer all the photos I took yesterday of the giraffe and put on my computer so I can edit the pattern. Guys, and welcome back to Stitches by Patty. Today, Take a slide. Take a slide, right? today, I have my personal chauffeur. She is driving me to the nail salon to get our nails done because... Well, we gotta pick up mom first. Oh yeah, we're gonna pick up mom first. And then, wait, let me try to be like you. We have to go pick up mama stitches. <laughs> and then we're gonna go all, we're all gonna get our nails done because what the freak? What the freak? People can't drive. People can't drive, and that's life right now. Guys, look so cute today, so I can yeah, be in the vlog and I can say hi. Alright, bye. Hey guys, I'm back from the nail salon. It's 8 30 right now. Let me take my glasses off because the glare just makes me so mad. But here's what I did. I did French this time. I usually don't. I usually don't do French, but. All right. I didn't get a pedicure done because my nails have been, um, what is it called? Breaking. But I came home and I got my Amazon packages. I did put it all in the same box, like, you know, that option on Amazon, and they still came in three different packages, which, all right. Um, let me open these real quick and then I'll show you everything that's in them because it's really, it's three things in three different bags, which is stupid. All right, so here is what I got. As you guys know, I ordered this with you guys. I got my keychains. They come with the little jump rings. They come with the ring and they also come with the lobster clasp. And I put these together myself, which is honestly really annoying to do, but these are my favorite. And it looks like they changed the rings to be thicker, which is pretty good. But anyways, I got those. And then I got my two pairs of scissors. Let's open them. This blue one looks very pretty. And like I said, this is my favorite. These are my favorite scissors that I get. Here is the blue pair. Very pretty. And it comes with a little um, protector sleeve because, you know... They're sharp, actually, because they're so pretty. Why are you guys being crazy? 
good morning so these are the two colors they're the exact same scissor i just like having multiples because when i go to markets when i travel um it's good to have more than one and then one to keep at home where it stays and i know where it is but so cute and then you know keychains i just got because i needed to restock those i'm running low but i'm not putting them together today because i just got my nails done i'm not ruining them that will be done another time but now i have so much garbage because amazon doesn't know how to pack things just all together and you know what you guys i put in a later delivery because i told them to put everything together it's probably from different warehouses or something all right so you know what we're gonna do now now that um i made all these stitch markers we're going to <laughs> make the fuzzy turtle order and I'm going to see if the post office is open tomorrow. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I don't know if they're open. Um, but we'll see. And yeah. Because if I can just ship it tomorrow, that'll be so much easier than having to wait until Tuesday after New Year's. Um, it's a little inconvenient for the customer and for me too, honestly. Like, why would I wait that long? I will update you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. I just showered. I put on a fresh set of PJs because it's just that kind of day i don't know but last night i did finish all the turtle parts okay they're all here but um i didn't put it together i was just not in the mood to do sewing i just i don't know but i'm going to do it now after i pick up a little, <laughs> a little bit and i'm gonna see if the post office is open today it's saturday december 30th should be open right i know what it'll be not you're so cute me new me new me new me new okay that was a little up close and personal i'm also going to make a reel for instagram with my giraffe and my baby monkey i think it's gonna be so cute that's what i'm doing also oh my god oh my god i forgot to tell you guys yesterday i hit 10k on instagram so thank you guys so much i don't know if all of you follow me on instagram that like you guys watch me on youtube but do you also follow me on instagram i don't know but i just reached 10,000 subscribers so Go check out my Instagram because me and Addison will be doing a giveaway both for makers and for customers. So one of the prizes will be a custom fuzzy turtle. So anyways, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Um, it was my goal to reach 10,000 before the end of the year and I reached it yesterday, December 29th. So that is absolutely insane okay bye guess what guys i sewed together the fuzzy turtle sage is going to florida how cute perfect for the florida weather i don't know i just love the color sage but he is so adorable anyways i'm printing um the packing slips and the labels and i'm gonna pack him up i just wrote the note and um he's gonna go to the post office so i checked they're open i'm gonna get dressed real quick and then go drop it off and I also have to stop by Target again because yesterday I forgot to get Tylenol and Advil and mine is expired so I have to get a new one. We will talk soon. Maybe I'll also pick up some Starbucks. I haven't ate today yet and it's like 11.30. <laughs> Anyways, that is that. And then I don't know what we're going to work on today. I kind of want to make more fishies. I don't know. We'll make a list later of things I want to make just so I'm a little more organized. And also when I don't know what to make, I always go back to my list and make the things that I wanted to make before and I just never did. Also, maybe we can do some little lacrone frogs. You know which ones I'm talking about? The ones I always bring to my markets. So yeah, that's the plan. And I'm gonna make them in, in like all shades of pink. <laughs> I'm sorry, but for Valentine's Day, that's gonna be so cute. Guys, it is 12.01. I just dropped off the package. I'm um, at the post office. This post office by me like lets me just drop off um, the package in like the little window since it's prepaid so I don't have to wait in the line and it's always long there. I don't understand but it's always long there so I didn't have to wait. I just like put it in the window and it was so full today like there were so many packages but I, I slipped my little one in there. Anyways we're gonna go to Target really quick and pick up um uh tylenol and advil and then i'm also going to get a starbucks refresher and a slice of pizza because i'm hungry so come with me come with me so i'm not lonely i forgot
forgot to record at Target because there were so many people and I was just trying to get out of there. But do you guys want to see all the exciting things I got? Multi-purpose <laughs> disinfectant spray. Cleaning thing. Advil liquid dolls. Also, I got the smaller version of all the medication because I rarely use it, but I like to have it at home. I got Lumify um, eye drops. They make your eyes really white. I want to try that. Try it out. It's supposed to be safe. Obviously, I'm not going to do it when I put my contacts in, but it was just interesting. Dramamine for, for nausea, drowsiness. Oh, for... I'm a dum-dum. I meant to just get the one for dizziness and nausea, but it's okay. Then, last thing I got was some Tylenol. Yeah, that's it. And then there was a guy outside selling candy, you know. If you're from New York, you know. You know what I'm talking about. The kids' stuff. So I got fruit snacks, and I got Starbucks. And you know what? We're going to eat some Starbucks for bring it. What of you? What of you? Anyways, what do you think is going to be the first flavor? What is the yellow one? I don't like it. The second one is cherry though, and I like those. I'm back home, but I'm having a little trouble because I finished Desperate Housewives. And I have nothing to watch. Wow, these glasses are so annoying. I have like a blue light filter on them. Because obviously I work at the computer a lot, but it's just annoying when I'm looking at the phone. So anyways, I don't know what to watch. But here's <laughs> here's what's happening. I, I am going to do something very bad and I'm going to make more fish. That is because I just need to... I just need to make them in this colorway. This is Omphalote and this is Country Blue. Both are from Chanel Home Slim. Actually, this one's Sweet Snuggles Light. The other one's Chanel Home Slim. And then I want to do a white and light blue. And then I do want to do a white and mustard. All right, whatever. I'm just going to do that for now. And I think I'm going to start with the mustard color for the... So that it's the majority of the fish. And then the white's just going to be a stripe. And then for the blue fish, I'll also make it like majority blue. Yeah, that's the plan. And then you know what? We're going to move on to making pink plushies. I want to make some pink frogs. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to use my new stitch markers. Oh, you can't see them. I love playing with them in this. I just like it. Did I tell you guys these are glass and I'm scared I'm going to break them? Well, I am. Which one should I choose first? I'm gonna go with the piggy because it's just so cute and I love it also I'm gonna list two of them on Etsy so if you guys want one it'll be up I had a few DMs on Instagram after I posted it so I'll put those up but let's get started I'm gonna do the blue and blue one first and I think I'm gonna make a dark blue and light blue dark blue the main color light blue the secondary color and I'm also gonna watch crochet by Jenna on YouTube because I haven't watched her in a while I don't know what happened there Probably because I was watching netflix more than youtube but yeah all right i'll get back to you guys later with an update and and we'll chat some more but i'm just ready to crochet right now let's go gosh you guys look my sony angel collection ultra hair cream i made the last one that i'm gonna make for today although i know i want to make more i don't know what it is about these fish but i love making them also I timed myself again. I'm watching Jenna's YouTube video and um, I timed myself again on my phone. 19 minutes, 48 seconds, okay? And that's without like tucking the tails in or the eyes. But like I said in previously, um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to count um, how long the eyes take because I know some of you guys would rather put safety eyes in and embroidering them takes much longer than just popping safety eyes in. So yeah. So you're looking at a 20 minute project, very, very cute, and I love it. I also, I think this is my favorite color combo from the ones I just made. I don't know, do I want to make one more? I kind of do. Anyways, I'm not going to. I'm going to pick out some pink yarn, and then I'm like brainstorming what to make, because I have this variegated burnout blanket yarn that I've had for over a year already, and the thing is, it's like, it's pretty rough, and it's not as like, um, anyways, I don't know what to make with it, so I'm trying to figure out what I can make with it um and I also want to make fluffy turtles um with that same yarn that I used for for the Maltese I want to use the fluffy yarn to make little fluffy turtles I'm not sure how big they would be because like I said it's a different yarn I want to say it's at least softy maybe I got it in Poland but I think it would look really cute with my little turtle pattern but I don't know if it 
might be a little smaller than the ones I currently have because I feel like that yarn is a little thinner anyway things to think about am I right here are the finished fishies I absolutely love all these colors um the embroidering and sewing in everything took me about 12 minutes so I figure like four minutes of fish I'm also watching Miss A Crochet on YouTube. I'm just catching up on all my subscriptions, but I love them. I will take pictures of these probably tomorrow. I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm going to go find some pink yarn and do some other projects. So all right, guys, I'm going to try a new setting on my phone. It's called Cinematic, and I think that um, it's nice. It blurs out the background, focuses on me. But I figured out <laughs> what I'm going to make with my um, pink variegated burnout blanket yarn. I'm going to make Tessa the Turtle by All From Jade. It's a no sew tortoise pattern, so it's technically not a sea turtle, it's a tortoise, but this is what I'm going to use for the shell. And then the other pink colors that I have, this is kind of pink. This is kind of pink. It's a neutral pink, right? It has like mauve in it. Then we have this one. What did I say this was? Like ballet slipper dot or something? Then I also have ballet pink if i'm not mistaken oh it's actually barely pink and the last color that i have is just plain white just to kind of break it up so what i'm thinking is that the turtle shell is going to be this i have no idea what this is called i'm sorry it's like from the burnout blanket dynamite collection that i think they discontinued because i got this for five bucks last year and then i'm going to make the the head and feet this barely pink color and we'll use white for the belly and like the little scalloped edges because i really like how those look they're like little bobble stitches around the edges um so yeah anyways i'm gonna do that i'm gonna have to find the pattern it's somewhere in my google drive you know how it is hey guys it's so much later i finished the turtle but i just wanted to give you guys an update after the last clip i recorded i actually recorded a q a that will be up on my channel after this video but i did that and i couldn't really like crochet as much as i wanted to during that video so that's that and then i just went to walk the dogs a little bit after because i just you know when you sit in one space for too long and you're like i need to get out yeah so i went to walk the dogs and then i had dinner and then i scrolled on my phone a little bit and i talked to my sister and now we are here i did finish melissa middle <laughs> i did finish little miss pink i think she's really cute i do want to add a little eyelash to her um but she's cute so she stands on her own you see really cute I love her and now i have a good idea for sea turtles if you know what my original gentleman sea turtle looked like it had swir uh, it had a swirly shell so going along with the valentine's day theme of pinks premier retro velvet okay and i'm not sure which colors i'm going to blend together i'm thinking these two and these two perhaps these two okay so i did the first shell and i don't know if i like this shell i added little ruffles on it i'm not sure if i like this or if i would like it more if i just did single crochets hey <laughs> i finished the second turtle shell this is more the vibe i was going for here are the two different shells you can see there's a big difference obviously the frill on the light pink one is much bigger um i don't know which one i like more i kind of think i like the big frill better i don't know let me see you guys down really quick and i'll show you um better okay so right this one's kind of wonky i have to like manipulate it a little to like make it more consistent i don't know um i'm gonna be done for tonight you see do you see how small they are mm -hmm. 